Types of conjunctions in English, subordinating conjunctions. Subordinating conjunctions connect a subordinate clause to an independent clause. For example, Although it was raining, I didn't take an umbrella. Even though she didn't like pepperoni, she still ate the pizza. I went to work once I started feeling better. I intend to go to South America next month, provided that I can get the time off work. Functions of subordinating conjunctions Cause Comparison Concession Condition Place Reason Time As Because Since Just as Although Even though Though Whereas While Even if If As long as In case Provided that Providing Where Wherever In order that So that After Before As soon as once until when whenever while cause we use as because and since interchangeably to state the cause of something for example The project was successful, as you all worked very hard. We played chess all evening, as we had nothing better to do. I love David's work because he uses color so brilliantly. The project was successful because you all worked very hard. Since you say so, I will believe it. Mary has danced since she was five. Comparison and concession Similarities We can use As to state that two ideas are similar. We can also use Just as to add extra emphasis to this statement. 
For example, It's pouring rain, as I thought it would. She was late again, just as we expected. He didn't turn up, as you told me he wouldn't. Expressing contrasts and concessions. While and whereas both express contrasts. My brother worked really hard, while I didn't make much of an effort. It happened while I was away. I can't stand watching tennis, whereas I love watching basketball. Adrian is tall and blonde, whereas his brother is short and has dark hair. Though, although, even though, we use although, though, and even though to say that something occurred in spite of something else. Though and although are interchangeable, while even though adds extra emphasis. I went to that restaurant, although I was told it wasn't very good. Although the kitchen is small, it is well designed. Although they gave her the best treatment, they could not save her. We went out although it was snowing. Though expensive, the watch was very good. Though he worked hard, he couldn't win the first prize. Though he was ill, he attended the meeting. Even though I am quite small, I can swim well. I went to that restaurant even though I was told it wasn't very good. Condition We use the subordinating conjunctions, even if, if, as long as, in case, provided that, and providing. When referring to a hypothetical situation, If is the most common conjunction for hypothetical sentences. We use it when one action is required for another to occur. For example, I will buy you a pizza if you help me move my furniture. You should buy a new TV if you get a bigger apartment. He looks as if he were on the brink of a nervous breakdown. If you drop the glass, it will break. If you are determined you can succeed in whatever you do. I will do it only if you pay me. As long as provided, provided that, and providing. All mean the same as if but they emphasize the requirement of the conditional action. We can use them interchangeably. I will buy you a pizza, as long as you help me move my furniture. I will buy you a pizza, 
provided you help me move my furniture. You should buy a new TV, provided that you get a bigger apartment. You should buy a new TV, providing you get a bigger apartment. Even if we use, even if, when an outcome will occur despite a hypothetical action. For example, I will buy you a pizza, even if you don't help me, move my furniture. I will buy the pizza anyway. He's going to pass his test, even if he doesn't study. He will pass despite not studying. I wouldn't do it, even if it were possible. I will go even if he forbids me. In case We use in case to suggest a precaution against a hypothetical possibility. For example, I'm bringing an umbrella, in case it starts raining. I'm worried it might rain, so I'm bringing an umbrella. She put her phone on silent, in case it rang during the movie. She was concerned her phone would ring in the middle of the movie, so she silenced it. I have my umbrella with me, in case it rains. Place When the dependent clause is related to a place, we use where and wherever, but they are not interchangeable. For most situations, we use where as in He lives where it's always sunny. Or he lives in a place that is sunny. Can we go where it's a little quieter? Or can we go to a place that is quieter? This is the place where the accident occurred. Go where you like. The accident occurred where the four roads meet. Reason We use in order that, so that, and so, to give a reason. They are interchangeable in meaning, but differ in formality. Compare the following sentences. Our boss asked us to take detailed notes in order that nothing would be forgotten. Formal Our boss asked us to take detailed notes so that nothing would be forgotten. Neutral Our boss asked us to take detailed notes so nothing would be forgotten. Less formal He wore a coat so that he may not catch cold. He wore a coat in order that he may not catch cold. He studied well, so he passed the examination. I'm hungry, so I'm going to get something to eat. Time Previously We use it to state that the action of the independent clause occurred first we use before. For example, I went shopping before I came home. He won first prize in a spelling bee before starting fifth grade. You have to finish it before you can leave. Please meet me before you go. The train cannot start before the signal is given. They say a silent prayer before they start the class.
Concurrently, when two actions occur at the same time, there are several subordinating conjunctions we can use, but each has a slightly different meaning. If we are not adding any particular emphasis, we use when. For example, I was sleeping when the phone rang. I will come and see you when I can. I will be relieved when it is finished. I will be ready when you arrive. People ran for shelter when the storm broke out. His wife fainted when she heard the news. I saw my brother when he was out with his friends. However, to emphasize that two actions occurred, or will occur, at exactly the same time, or in rapid succession, we use, once or as soon as. Please clean your room once you get home. Once you learn it, you never forget. Call me back as soon as you can. I will call you as soon as I have the information. As soon as I finish this book, I will begin another. Subsequently, when the action of the independent clause happens second in a series of actions, we use after. I went shopping after I finished work. He won first prize in a spelling bee after he started fifth grade. They arrived after we had left. Up to a certain time. To state that one action stops when another one begins, we use until. For example, he ran track until he moved here. You can borrow my jacket until I need it. Will you wait here until I come? She waited in the park until her friends arrived. Will you please wait here until I come back? any time or every time. Finally, we use, whenever to state that the time doesn't matter, or that two actions always happen together. For example, Call me whenever you get home. I will come and see you whenever I can. I injure myself whenever I play football. She cries whenever she sees a sad movie. Whenever we go abroad, we take as many pictures as possible. 